All right. How's everyone doing? I am Rich Chalenza. Thanks for checking out the Rich Chalenza Show. So what I'm going to talk about today is people should stop destroying their bodies when intoxicated or under the influence or on drugs. I don't know what I'm going to title it, but I don't think a lot of people realize how much they destroy their body throughout their life when drunk or on drugs. I also don't think a lot of people realize that a lot of bad decisions they make are obviously one in those situations as well. I am here though to tell you too is I'm not telling you not to drink or not to do drugs. That's none of my business what you do. But I do want to make a point in this podcast is that if you are going to get drunk, let's say, or do drugs or whatever, to protect yourself. I had something funny that I was going to call a podcast actually previously. It was uh, when drunk, don't think you could speak for yourself. Something like that. Or when on drugs, stop speaking up for yourself. Or something funny. We used to have a saying in the bar business that you can never argue with a drunk, right? You probably may have dealt with drunks before or been drunk. You know, <laughs> you're kind of having these discussions. And, you know, here's the deal. Hopefully you're not drunk when you listen to this. You know, especially females too. I will throw them into the categories because a lot of times I'm talking about men, but a lot of women go out, I'll just use very quickly for example, is with high heels and they know they're going to be drinking a lot that night. Then they break their ankle, hit their knee, uh, get hurt. You should know better. I'm just using for an example. Even with men, a lot of men are going out. They know they're going to get smashed or they may end up high. Okay, I'm just telling you, make sure you as well, for instance, and I'm just using these for example, make sure you have the right type of shoes. Make sure you have a sole on the bottom that grips, especially if you're in urban areas or if you're in an area where you know there's going to be you know, a lot slick, it could be winter, all these things where you got to grip because you don't want to be walking around half in the bag. Again, you slip, fall on your back. Guess what happens? You're in the emergency room or you hurt yourself or you could fall any which way and hurt yourself. You know, we all know when we think about getting intoxicated a lot of times or on drugs, we're like, hey, don't get in that car. Of course, you're not going to get in the car, right? Because you don't want to hurt yourself or others. But how about what you're doing when you're going out just you yourself? Does that kind of make sense? Also, don't set out the vibe of you like, let's put it this way. If you're somebody who goes out there and gets smashed a lot, I know a lot of people like even get so smashed, they pass out, right? If you're putting yourself in that position, you know what I mean? What are you not only doing to your body, but Who knows what they're going to do to you? Now, again, I'm not telling you not to drink and and go have fun and do those things, but you got to protect yourself. I used to say too, even with me, a lot of my problems came when I drank. A lot of my arrests, a lot of problems with fighting, all these things, liquid muscle. When I started to drink, I'd hit a certain point and then I'd be very angry. Why? I have no idea. I don't know why, you know, a lot of times they say, well, alcohol makes you either real happy or makes you mad or makes, you know, everybody, it affects everybody differently. But again, all I ended up doing a lot of times when drinking that much is not only hurting my body, but I would always end up in a fight, which then ended up physically a lot of times hurting my hands, my feet, whatever. Then you get arrested. Let's just say if I went to a prison, I may be wrong, but I'll bet you at least over 50% of the people that ended up maybe getting arrested We're maybe, maybe I'm wrong, drinking or under the influence of something. I I believe it to a certain degree. I think we make so many mistakes when we're drunk or on drugs to a certain degree. I wasn't into drugs even though I was surrounded by it. Uh, So that's a whole different type of thing. But I do think a lot of people hurt themselves. I think they also do a lot of stupid things when drinking too or doing drugs or getting high even. Uh, It could be even going playing sports, let's say, or goofing around with your friends. Uh, it could be even maybe surfing. It could be even, uh, it could be even walking around half in the bag and you get hit by a car. And we hear these stories all the time. You know, again, you want to protect yourself. I get a lot of people want to drink and maybe go overboard. Okay. Just please make sure, you know, even if you're boating, a lot, I grew up with a lot of boaters and I would see a lot of accidents on the water because they just took for granted that, oh, there's only how many boats on the water and we can kind of drive wherever. Same with sea dews. People get crazy. You know, you drink a little too much before you know it. You're behind the wheel of a boat. You hit another boat. You hit somebody who's water scared, fell in the water 
or you're doing things even with, I've seen people lose their fingers with their, uh, or hurt their hands, I should say. I think they lost their fingers. Uh, working with the rope when water skiing, drinking too much, or even go snow skiing and they're half in the bag. Just doing a lot of stupid things that, you know, you're setting yourself up to hurt yourself. Just be, make the decision early. I say never make the decision later. So it's like even if you want to drink, you know, drink and drive. If you, a lot of people don't get me wrong. You may stop and have have one drink with a friend or two before you know it. You're half in the bag and you're driving home. The problem is you made the decision to kind of, you know, drive. You don't even realize you're making the wrong decision because you're drunk at that point in time. But I should say before a lot of times you're going out. A lot of times you're gonna be like, hey, I'm going out to meet my buddies. You know they're going to maybe be doing shots. You know you may smoke weed. I don't know. You may do blow. I don't know, Marley X. I don't know what you're going to do. But if you are driving there, you know, you got to make the decision. So what am I, crazy? You know, obviously Uber, Lyft, cab, or let your friend drive. And again, if you're going to do that, make sure you're around the right people. But also if you're going to a club that's got, say, a lot of stairs, you're going up and down the stairs. If you're going to get smashed, you got to kind of know your surroundings. It was kind of like what I was saying earlier, making sure you have the right type of clothes. Even, now this sounds crazy, a lot of people go out in the major cities, especially, you know, I spent a lot of time in Canada and stuff, and I would see guys, they weren't dressed properly, especially when in cold weather, and they'd get smashed, and I would see them leave a club or they'd be laying in the street, and I knew they weren't homeless, and I feel horrible for homeless. <coughs> Excuse me. They would, let me get some water. They would just get smashed and walk out of a bar, slip, fall, or get the, you know, trying to help them. They don't want to be bothered just laying there. And it's freezing. And I'm thinking, oh my God, you know, should I call 911? Because they're going to get frostbite and freeze to death out here. And, you know, you just got to really pay attention. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to get too long winded on this. But if you are going out, like I said, or you know, especially you young people. I know a lot of people who listen to my podcast for some reason are younger. And when I talk to them, I even when I go out and hang out with younger guys, because even my marketing guys are younger and stuff, it's all about protecting yourself and being around people that you trust that will also protect you as well. I'm going to wrap it up with a funny story, which I don't know how protective or not it was, but I knew somebody that got really smashed once. Uh, And uh, so they picked him up and threw him in a pickup truck and he slept there all night and it snowed on his head. He laid on his back and it snowed on him and he woke up and he thought he died and went to heaven. He was entirely numb. Thank God he didn't have frostbite. But what was funny is like, you know, they put him in the pickup truck probably (laughs) thinking, you know, he was going to be okay for the night. And then it's snowing on his face and him waking up thinking that. But the lucky thing is, if it really would have dropped down to certain temperatures, you know, he could have died because he was so intoxicated. His friends were probably thinking they were helping him by putting him in there because they didn't want him to drive home. and Or maybe they were intoxicated. I don't know what the situation was. I don't know if there was a beef. But he told me that story. And you just got to make sure maybe thinking things through a little further maybe when your friends or somebody else is intoxicated or under the influence because sometimes just maybe throwing them in an Uber, you're thinking, oh, they're smashed. I'm going to throw them in the Uber. They could probably walk up to their house. Maybe they, you know, somebody could take advantage of them. It doesn't, man or woman, the Uber driver can rob them or do something. And I'm not trying to rip on Uber or lift people by any means, but I'm saying you sometimes go the extra effort to make sure if you do see your friends, family members, or colleagues that are intoxicated that went too far. Because I think a lot of us um, sometimes don't, you know, this is what I should wrap it up with. If you're with a group of guys and your group is getting too smashed, there's, I believe, there's got to be at least one that's got to be sober. There's got to be one there to protect everyone. You got, and even if that guy, if sometimes you may be the guy, and I think I was that guy a lot of times, not always, not always, but I drove a majority of the time. And, you know, because I think I always, a lot of times too, had the nicest cars, but I'm not going to say I always drove by any means, but I did, I was usually, I don't like getting drunk. I don't like the way I feel. And I was always in bars and nightclubs my whole life. So it was kind of no big deal where I do think a lot of my friends would get more smashed than me a lot of times, especially as we got in our 20s. I was kind of burnt out from that business. But I always just want to make sure, if you know me, and this goes for a lot of women 
two that I know that are friends, I think how I built a lot of friendships with women, just friends, is making sure I knew they were protected when they were smashed. And if you know me either personally or you worked with me, I would even say most of my colleagues that I work with, I was always the driver. So I made sure all the girls got back to their hotel rooms or they got back to their homes or whatever. Because if there's one sober one in the bunch, you know, people will keep their distance a little bit. But if everybody's smashed, then kind of that's when things can go, I think, sour a lot of times. And someone even being sober in the group can sometimes talk their way through certain things to prevent a lot of problems, especially with fights. So just something to think about if, you know, you go out and, uh, you know, just something I, I thought I would bring up. But please take care of yourself. Don't get drunk, smash, get on a skateboard, a bicycle. I know a lot of times you don't think you're going to hurt yourself, but you do. And a lot of times it could be life-threatening. You could break your arm. You're never the same. Break your ankle. It can be all these things that you're doing. And you, I mean, people drown all the time. When And I've seen my friends get smashed at pools all the time, really drunk, like Dufran falling in the water. And if they slip, they hit their head. I mean, it's I've seen a lot of shit. Don't think it won't happen to you. It happens all the time. So please try to prevent that. From, and I get we're going to do different things when we drink. I don't want to bullshit anybody. But I do think sometimes drinking and going, just getting too intoxicated or too high or too much is just sometimes, especially in certain areas, very dangerous. Just think about that. It could be fishing. It could be whatever the hell it is. You never know what's going to happen. So I'm going to wrap it up there. If you got any questions or comments, hit me up, richchalenza.com.